How are we doing today, everybody? I promised you guys a uh, easy and inexpensive way to help shield, and so this is one of the things that I came up with. I'm going to show you here. What I did, you know, a traditional Faraday cage is galvanized wire mesh or galvanized trash cans with cardboard. What I did here is uh, I used aluminum foil because you can make a Faraday cage out of foil. I wrapped cardboard in foil, okay? Now I also have galvanized wire mesh and uh, I'm waiting on a, an RF meter so I'm going to determine whether you know galvanized wire mesh like I have on my windows is better or if the aluminum is going to work okay so I have my alligator clips in my wire okay that's copper wire and I did another panel over here my panels are about uh, two and a half by one and a half feet and see I have them connected and the reason I didn't I didn't just connect one of them is because uh, the the grounding wire is is copper wire and that's actually a really good blocker as well so as you can see I've got the wires running all the way across the length of the wall here and then this brown one is the actual grounding cable that I have plugged into the ground okay and then you all know but just to show you you know see there's just a ground plug that back in and I kind of wrapped it around those wires and then I attached it to this panel over here so basically you know this is this panels grounded these wires are all grounded and it's not covering the complete wall but it's I mean if, if you look at galvanized wire mesh like I have on my windows over here um, and you can see is that you know, there's gaps in between that too, only they're spaced symmetrically. Okay, so on on this idea, I, I just I kind of put two and two together, and I thought, well, if wire mesh is is spaced apart, then why does it why does it really matter if uh, you know if this is spaced as long as it's covering more than half the wall and with that grounding cable and the the two panels and the grounding cables going across the wall we're covering probably three quarters of the wall okay so this is just one of my quick ideas uh, I think you know foil cost a couple bucks you can get cardboard anywhere for free um, alligator clips are like a buck and a half for two and then you can use an old extension cord and just uh, splice it into two wires because you only need one and I think that's about like uh, I think that's like 16 gauge wire maybe 18 gauge so it's a little thicker um, this is just one of the ideas I have I actually have another idea that uh, is even easier than this but it might be slightly more expensive um, that uh, I was thinking about showing you but maybe I'll just I'll just briefly explain it you can buy uh, spools of wire okay copper wire and you can run them from the bottom of your your wall to the top of your wall and then use a thumbtack and then run it diagonally down and just do it the whole all the way around your room okay and and then one end you ground you just ground with the grounding plug kind of like this right here you know that I have obviously take the AC and DC off but connect it to that and you can you can do that the span of all four of your walls and the ceiling and then the floor is the only thing you would have to worry about and you can do that on the floor too you just have to be careful not to trip over it you can like do that on the floor and then cover it with cardboard to have a complete Faraday cage okay and uh, that that spool of, a spool of wire to do that would probably cost maybe a hundred bucks and then you know that little plug cost a buck and a half two bucks um, so that would be the easiest way to make a Faraday cage 
And like I explained with the galvanized wire mesh, you know, spacing is not a big deal because in any kind of Faraday cage, there's spacing. So you just got to uh, find the right kind of spacing. And in, and in theory, it will work regardless um, if the spacing is too large or not. It just might take time to, you know, sitting in here for a while. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, the second idea that I just briefly discussed, I think I'm going to try to do that too. I, uh, you know, I've got a, a two-bedroom apartment here, so I have I have a lot a lot of work to do to help block. And then, you know, I just wanted to <clears throat> just uh, for any of you guys that don't know, you know, I put my uh, my panel up there. In you know, my previous videos, I showed you how to make a grounding mat, basically the same way. Well, you can order um, the, the same thing, only it's a little bit more expensive material online, and they call them earthing mats. And from what I understand, there's kind of a scam going on with that, that they don't work as good as they're supposed to. Um, it's, it's, um, it's a material, I would say, that's similar to like Lingstat. Maybe it has like a, a rubber, rubbery kind of texture. Um, so, you know, making your own just out of foil or copper or wire mesh and cardboard or wood and grounding it, it would be the best option. Um, but you can use that on, you know, you can even place your laptop on top of it so uh, nobody can, can harass you electronically, you know, other than like sending you a virus or an email or something like that. So anyway, I hope you guys have a good day, and this is just, like I said, another one of my good ideas that's that's cheap and, and still, still pretty efficient. So uh, I'll keep making videos, and hopefully I'll get more subscribers, and, uh, you know, hopefully that I, I'm helping some of you guys, because I've noticed a lot, of, a lot of TIs out there don't have the information that they need, and the ones that do have the information, uh, you know, they, they just don't want to share it until you get to know them, and then still sometimes they don't want to share it. So, um, you know, if, if you guys have any questions, uh, you can hit me up on my messages on my YouTube, or uh, you can email me at asonesjr at gmail. You guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.